magic window of television is thrown open onto the world so that man can see what is going on in his world at this very moment. Even though the big news of the day is, unfortunately, mostly made up of disasters, man would still rather see it with his own eyes. The place which technology is taking in our lives becomes more important with the passing of each year. The progress being made in science and its practical application is breathtaking. Although the average man has no or very little understanding of what is happening around him in the world of technology, he nevertheless wants to see it. Television lets him see it from close up and now. There goes the TV outside broadcast van. When that's on the road, something special is happening. Or is an international football match something of no importance? Such a van is a mobile center of modern engineering. First of all, of course, there are the TV cameras. But in addition to these, the van is chock full of cables and the costly instruments and other apparatus, which are the mysterious nerve fibers of television. The cameras are erected as advantageously as possible on the field in places which have been carefully reconnoitered in advance. Here are two placed next to the goal in what is called fixed position, because here, quite naturally, they cannot be mobile. But that's not necessary since the four different lenses on each camera give possibilities enough. The third camera is erected on the roof of the grandstand, and from there it can give fine shots of the whole field. The pictures travel through long cables to the broadcasting van. In this van, the director selects the picture for transmission, which will be dispatched by this aerial to the nearby link in the television chain. Here you see such a link. This parabola, as it is termed, traps the signal that has been aimed straight at it, and a second sends it on further. You can see that here the signal actually turns a corner because the receiving and transmitting parabolas are not in line with each other. So the signal arrives at the great transmitting mast, which will finally send it out over the length and breadth of the land. But it goes still further than that, for Western Europe is already covered by an entire network of television links. This important football match is being played in the heart of Europe, but the enormous chain of television link stations ensures that it will be seen at this very moment here in Hamburg, here in North England, here in Paris, here in Rome, and right here in Amsterdam. This is because the television chain follows its course across Europe like a luminous track spreading the picture out over vast areas. At this moment, millions of people are all looking at the same thing in their own homes. It is there before their very eyes, yet it is happening hundreds of miles away. Television makes Europe one, bridges distances, crosses frontiers, and brings to millions one idea, this match. Meanwhile, the rain has made the ball slippery and the field a quagmire. Yet at home you notice nothing of this. You live only in the tense excitement of whether or not your country will win, and you laugh or are sad with the thousands in the stadium as the game goes well or badly for your team. But there is also this difference. At home, you see your favorite closer by than from the best grandstand seat, and you have no coat on to protect you against the cold, and there's no umbrella over your head to keep off the rain. The man in front doesn't bother you, because you are watching the match at home, in the front row, warm and dry. For this is television. Such a football match with all its excitement, 
or on a quiet Sunday afternoon together with your family, something joyous and colorful like a flower procession, which not only the parents, but the children too can enjoy. Thus you are out, yet still at home, and together you can enjoy all the wonders your set has to offer you. Or when during the week the man of the house is away at work, then the set stands ready to perform charming little services for his wife. In the intimate quiet of her lounge, she's kept up to date with events in the world of fashion. And in the afternoon, when school is over, the set belongs to the children. They amuse themselves in the way children do, and all the time they're learning. Yes, that is their pride, what they have made themselves in their own television program. The best teachers now come into the home, into every house, to every child that learns while playing. 